Well, we have a few other kinds of views. Broken out section view is what we'll cover today, and also how to sketch in your view. Let's get into it. Here is the office chair that we've been working on, and perhaps I'd like to make a drawing of it. To do that, I'll go to Send To, make drawing of this design, of course, and we'll select the default template. And I can rotate my view here to be looking at the front, and I'll get rid of my top view, don't really need that, and I'll add a draft style instead of standard, just for a change, right, a bit thinner lines. I'll insert my two views here. And there we are. So let's talk about a few things. Perhaps I'd like to start by inserting a few envelope dimensions. What's the overall height of this chair? Now we know that we can click this dimension right here and select an element of the sketch. But I'd like to select the ground level of where the wheels would be touching. But of course the drawing won't let me do that. And even if it did, uh, it would select an arc and it would go to the center of the arc and there would there wouldn't be a convenient way of actually showing this envelope dimension. So I would suggest doing a sketch. Now, of course, you can select your view and click Activate 2D Sketch, or you can right-click within your view and click on Activate Sketch in View. I'll make a horizontal line. And then I can select the tangent relation and make sure that my line is tangent with one of these lower arcs. And there we've got a line that fits the bottom of the wheels perfectly and things become a lot easier. I can grab a dimension, click the line, click the top of the chair, and we have the overall height of the chair. I can do the same, right? Perhaps I want to know relative to the center of this bolt what this distance is. I can make a vertical line. Again, in this case, I'll choose tangent to select the outermost point. And I can reference something right from the center. In this case, 13.441. I wanted to find this data because I want this dimension. Let's say my next intent on this drawing is to show a partial section view in this view. So maybe I can cut out this chair partially, which we would call a broken out section, and we would show the cross section of this bolt. Well, let's do that. So I'll deactivate my sketch. And as I deactivate my sketch, you may notice that the lines that I've added are still there. We will cover how to handle that in the coming videos. And I will add a new sketch, activate sketch and view, and I can use a rectangle or a circle or anything that I would like. I'll go with a circle for now. Splines can be quite useful in broken out sections because they can show a pretty organic border and make it a little bit more visually clear about where the section view is in some cases. Regardless, broken out section views are useful if you wish to open up an assembly and show internal components or even show just quick and easy cross sections in a single view. So I'll uh, deactivate my sketch. We can go to Sheets and Views, and I choose Broken Out Section here. And I'll select this circle, and I can even use my dimension, 13.441. There we have a cross section of our uh, bolt, and you can see that the bolt is really quite shallow compared to the overall depth of this hole. So these broken out section views can easily display important information about our assembly. If I wish to make edits, I always can click the carrots on these views, and I can right click and edit my broken out section view. I can have this option here through all if I wish to cut everything out, which is probably uh, useful in some cases. And then I can edit this, and I can unhide my section boundary if I'd like to take it to a depth, but show the boundary. And that can be very helpful if you wish to be explicit about where your broken out section view starts and ends. If I wish to edit the sketches that I've done here, I can right click and say activate sketch and view, 
and all my lines become selectable again. So every view is going to have one sketch, and you can simply activate the sketch in that view to edit what you've done so far. And that is how we create sketches to supplement our dimensions, as well as being able to make broken out section views, which is a great way to save space on your drawing. And that is how we cover broken out sections and sketching. We'll see you in the next one.